Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going on an adventure. Well, kind of. We're going to the Golfarium here near us. Um, taking Kelly before Kyle leaves. His Charmander keeps falling. Um, so it should be fun. I'm going to take you guys along with us and we will see you when we get there. So we just got to the Golfarium. Um, the, my husband's being ugly about it. No, I'm not. I said you tourist sure. trap. Um, the weather's not looking the greatest. Hopefully, it'll hold off for us to come in, go in, and just kind of do whatever until we want to leave. Um, Kelly Ann is just waking up from a nap, and so we're gonna go on in.
today she's gonna be hanging out with her best friend in the whole world, Erica. Blowing kisses for everybody out there. Now right here, now next to me, we do have Eli. Also saying hi to everybody. Now Eli's gonna be hanging out with his trainer today, Colleen. Best friend. Ready? And one, two. like front flippers. Tina's showing it off here. Now, I know what everybody's thinking. You guys, look at those front flippers. You probably thought they look pretty flimsy, right? Now, don't let that fool you, though, because those front flippers are super powerful. They can actually balance the entire body weight just on those two front flippers. I love. Oh. What? Wait, what, what's going on? Something is going on with Tina. Yeah, I can see that. So, oh goodness, you guys, she's whispering over here. You guys probably can't hear her, but she was saying that she cannot do her front flipper stand today because she has a broken flipper. <laughs> oh man. So I'm really sorry, Tina. Wait a minute. What? Uh, what? Okay. So you, she was saying she has a broken flippers, and now she's dancing over here and smiling. I don't know what's going on. But Tina's goofing around doing the show. You know what, Tina? It is your first time goofing around. So I'm going to forgive you, so why don't you go ahead and show everyone your amazing front flipper stand. Everybody check out Tina. Excellent job there, Tina. Now guys, the last difference between seals and sea lions is actually how they get around on land. Now as the sea lions walking up and down the stage, maybe doing a little bit of backing up, you guys probably notice they actually walk or galloping on all four of their flippers. Now the reason for this is because sea lions have rotating hip bones. Seals, they don't have those at all. And believe me guys, on the floor. Oh man guys, she's got to the pool still balancing that ball. All the way out and then check her out. but they're a great singer. And they've been practicing the special song that they want to sing for you guys. They like to call it their saltwater serenade. So Tina and Eli, whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and hit it. Show. So everybody go, oh, I know it's 
so sad, but don't you guys worry, because before we go, one of our sea lions would like to show you guys one final behavior. You guys probably noticed that orange buoy hanging around up the surface of the pool. That's right. Eli, today, is going to go ahead and jump and try to touch the buoy. Now, this is going to be a pretty quick photo. If you guys want to get that photo, go ahead and point at that orange buoy right there. And one last time, here is Eli. Nicely done there, Eli. Definitely touched the buoy today. That was amazing. Now, like I was saying, it is towards the end of the show. You guys have been an excellent audience. Now, on, my, on behalf of myself, our trainers, and of course, Tina and Eli, you guys have a great day here at Gulf Ram Marine Adventure Park. Bye, guys! A big one. This is a big one. Look at those fishies, huh? Look at the hammerhead shark. You see the shark? You see it? Are you having fun? Uh, uh, I think she's gonna talk. Hey, hey, hey. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No more banging. No banging. Hey guys, sorry we did not check back in earlier. <laughs> we were extremely exhausted after the golfarium and then we came back and Kelly took a nap for like what, an hour and fifteen minutes? Something like that. Show him buddy, show him buddy. <laughs> Buddy's exhausted too, apparently. He's just old. And then we went to a going away for a friend, co-worker of Kyle's, and now we're back home, and we just finished watching The Bachelorette, and now we're exhausted. And my child's exhausted too, but she doesn't want to sit still. We'll so. add that video in. She's like walking, or not walking, crawling. And she like She like takes six seconds <laughs> and then lays, lays her head down. 
So. And gets up like she just got up from a nap. Needless to say, we're going around. to end this video here. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you have any kind of videos you want to see, comment below. Otherwise, you guys have a fantastic day. That was really hard. Um, Colton, I saw a future with him, but I know that this is right. And we only have a couple weeks left in this, and it's time we get out of our way. We are going to one of the most magical places in the world. We're going to Chiang Mai, Thailand. Yay! It's crazy to think that in a dream and life, I'm most excited to just travel the world with them, to fall more in love, and to hopefully have more clarity into who is my right person at the end of this. In a few short weeks, I'll be with my man. Next week on The Bachelorette. I have found my best friend, my partner, and what I want to be my fiance. I love you with all the confidence in the world. I am not the guy that lays his heart on the line. I'm scared. Do you want to move to Thailand? Only if you come with me. I love her so much. All I want is her every moment of the day, every day. I truly do love you. And I hope it'll last more than I ever have to say that to you. There's no plan B, there is no safety net. It's about this back in my championship with Rome by 100%. Listen to that love story. It's all just so surreal. I'm in Thailand with the woman I love. You know, I'm the kind of guy who looks for a reason to stay, not a reason to go. I want to see a lot. I want to see that future. It's all coming up next week on The Bachelorette. Anybody that gets Blake is just extremely fortunate, and he kind of does wear his emotions on his sleeve, and he's a soft young. Yeah. Kellyanne. Kellyanne.